Anger and outrage about a video that appears to show two Seattle police officers roughing up an innocent detainee. The department has launched an internal investigation, and the Mexican American community is outraged. Como for Shamari Stone is live with that story. Shamari? Gentlemen, the Latino Bar Association has released a statement basically saying that they condemn this incident. They say that it is police brutality and racially charged. Seattle police detained three people, including a Hispanic man, in their hunt for possible armed robbery suspects. Now look at the man on the right, lying face down, without handcuffs, and not under arrest. Listen to what one officer says. Seconds later, the man moves his hand, appearing to wipe his eye. The officer kicks him in the head as he wipes his boot on his hand. A female officer stomps on his leg. Police realize they detained the wrong man, lift him up, and let him go. The video does not show a medic arriving on scene, even though the man has cuts on his face and appears to have trouble walking. What I want you to do is relax your weight on the car, okay? All right? Put your hands back so you don't fall that way, all right? Slide. A freelance photographer captured the video. So they kicked you in the head, man? Yeah, they did. T tell me why they kicked you in the head. I don't know. They just came in the head, they knocked me down, and they came in the head. And you had nothing to do with what was going on? Nothing to do with that. I think it's awful. There's Pramila Jayapal is the executive director of One America, an immigrant advocacy organization. She also sits on a citizen panel that will help select the new Seattle police chief. What's your reaction when you see that video? The language that was used was just despicable, horrendous language um, that was used and, and racist. Um, and then the violence is, there's no reason. Interim Seattle Chief John Diaz hasn't seen the video but has ordered an investigation. I do have to say that if what I understand is on that video and what I heard is on that video, that's very disturbing to me. And as I said, there's going to be a thorough investigation. Now, we don't know the man's name in the video or his whereabouts, but one thing is clear. The mayor and the city council have released statements saying that they are concerned and they're waiting for a full report from the Internal Affairs investigation. Live in Seattle, along Lake Union, I'm Shamari Stone, Como 4 News.